All right, it's that time of week again when I get the privilege to hang out with someone that I consider to be a friend and just have a conversation. So I'm here with my friend, Oliver Marmel. Thanks for doing this, man. We're gonna go five minutes, unscripted, unrehearsed. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, so we've been friends for about 10 years now. All right. That means we're getting old. <laughs> So, do you feel that? Do you feel like you're getting old? Uh, a little bit. A yes. little bit? Yeah. Alright, you feel I'll like... i say the last like two years. I've... Really? Yeah. So like physically or... All of it. All of it? Yes. I think for me, I can't eat like I used to. Okay. So I did, I'd weigh like 250 pounds, which isn't a lot, <laughs> but that'd be a lot for me. But uh, we've been friends for about 10 years. You were playing high A ball. Alright. That's when we met. That's when we met. And you came okay. to a church we were on staff at. Yep. And we started hanging out. Yeah. At Chick-fil-A. I remember this. Think about this. A real estimate here. How many Chick-fil-A sandwiches do you think we ate together from like 2008 <laughs> to 2010? For real. A real number. A real number? Yeah. I'd get two every time we go. Right. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. For, yeah. That's a lot of Chick-fil-A. A lot of Chick-fil-A. There was actually a time when on the back of a Cardinals game ticket, there was a free Chick-fil-A. Free if you went out to the game. Yeah. And so I had like... So that, those two of them. I had them in my wallet, like cash for those. But <laughs> and then we started working out. Yeah. You were getting ready for like a coming up season. I was just yeah. trying to outgrow any clothing I had, which was accomplished. Yeah, it was yes. accomplished. We hit it hard. I think I remember one time you did something to me on legs, where you said, "Let's put all the weights on the leg press." <laughs> remember? Yeah, and go until you can't. Yeah, just take them yeah. off one at a time. Yeah. I literally. We took a lot of supplements. Stuff we took. Some, yeah, yeah, we took some uh, NO platinum. That was one one of them. Yeah. Yeah. So what? What else did we take? Uh, I can't remember the powders, but yeah, yeah, we were hitting it hard. Yes. And so we got big. We worked out. And but, I mean, other than that, other than working out, we've done some cool stuff. We've uh, hung out in Florida, Nicaragua, yeah, Montana. Montana was good too. I want you to try to explain the sailing that we did <laughs> on Flathead Lake. Nice uh, and loud. I don't to the people. Okay. I didn't know what sailing was all about. Right. And, um, we, we met a very interesting guy. Very interesting. Um, his, his story was pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, and he asked us to go sailing with him, and we had nothing else going on, so right. we said yes. Yeah. And 10 minutes into it, we are, I mean, inches away from flipping yeah. over. Yeah. Um, but this guy knew what he was doing, and he looked. Did he know what he was doing? Dude, he handled it like he did. He did. And uh, so I felt comfortable. I didn't freak out. No. I was close to freaking out, but we made it back safely. But it was actually a really cool experience. You remember that little meter of how like oh, tilted yeah. we were? And it was it was like we were basically I was right standing in the boat like it was yeah that way. But yeah. Honest to God, did you ever think we were gonna die? A, a split second. Like if we weren't with him, right? I was, out. was if we yeah. were just sailing, oh, I was out. We would have died. Yeah. For 100%. sure, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. And so that was a good time. Uh, I know uh, baseball's been a huge part of your life. It has. Uh, it has. How many years have you been involved with baseball? Well, I started playing when I was five. Um, okay. And uh, obviously went all throughout middle school and high school. Then I went to college in Charleston, played there for three years, was drafted in 2007. So this will be my 11th year of professional baseball okay. with the Cardinals. Yeah. And so was there a moment that you remember like thinking, I can make a career of this. I can do like, was there a certain yeah. season or a certain game or? You know what, ever since I had three older brothers and that's what they were all shooting for. And okay. I think uh, really young, even, Middle school, high school, that's kind of what I had envisioned doing. Okay. And I didn't see any type of plan B that was okay. always. So there was never like something else you wanted to be when you grew up? No, it was just this was the next thing. So you play high school baseball, you play college baseball, and then you play professional baseball. Right. And I didn't know anything other than that. Yeah. So and now you're what? What's your official title? Um, I'm the first base coach for the St. Louis Cardinals. First base coach, St. Louis Cardinals. When I think of you, though, I don't only think of baseball. I, I actually picture you as like an entrepreneur honestly and so do you, do you agree with that I mean do you think I know you have passions other than baseball and yes like I, do, that. I do and that that stuff gets me gets me going for sure okay. love business uh, yeah. Amber loves it as well my wife and right it's something we're pretty passionate about right. what is it what about it it's just I uh, just taking something that's not there and right. growing it to be something pretty cool okay. I think the, just the process of like nothing exists and then something. creating something is right. pretty neat. I honestly consider what Megan and I do somewhat 
as on well. I'm Blow trying out. to coin this phrase, philanthropical entrepreneur. Yeah. It's hard to say. <laughs> Give it a shot. Uh, philanthropical entrepreneur. Philanthropical entrepreneur. Yeah. I'm going to try to coin that phrase if it doesn't exist yet. Because I feel like that's what we do. <laughs> that is what you do. Take nothing and, and, and something's being created out of it. Yeah. So it's pretty right cool. Out. We're running out of time. We're almost at the five minute mark. That's fine. So it goes fast. When you first told me five minutes, I said that's a little time. So we're just sitting there, like looking at this camera. Right. No. But I do want to let you know something before we go. Uh, Megan and I and our little Oliver, we love you guys so much. Appreciate it. Uh, you mean the world to us. Uh, I'm a huge fan. You have no idea. I'm on ESPN every night seeing where you're going, <laughs> where you're playing. I'm checking the stats. They need to add a box score for first base coach. <laughs> All right, who do I talk to about that? I'll give you a name and number. All right, awesome. Yeah, know how that works out. Yes, me. yes. <laughs> but no, but our love for you and our respect for you guys, it, it goes so far beyond baseball. Um, if you told me tomorrow, I'm leaving baseball and I'm going to be a barista at Starbucks. Yeah. I'd say, which one? Because I want to go there and get my coffee every day. For real. And yeah. so you'd have some explaining to do to Amber, I think. <laughs> but we do love you guys and no, can't wait to see, it. you know, maybe after baseball or, or whatever whatever God has for you. Cool. Can't wait to see it. Appreciate so. it, man. Love you guys too. Thank yes. You. That was five minutes with my friend Oliver Marmel. I'm going to add a couple seconds here. I found out in 2013, I'm the only one that calls him Oliver, basically, right? Unless Amber's mad. Yeah. Unless Amber's mad, okay. Yeah. But I may call you Ollie one day. Okay. I don't know if I can make the switch. <laughs> to me, it's Oliver Marmel. And so if you like this, like it, comment on it, share it. Uh, always subscribe so you can catch the next video coming up. I will be back next week with another friend.